watching NickBox.com. My name is Nick. And I can see everything. Lately, I've been feeling like I've been in a bit of a slump, and that's a very hard thing to get out of. But the first thing is to be able to recognize that you're actually in a slump, and then you can find a way to get out. The second step is, of course, to realize that there are some things that are within your control and some things that are not. Things that are within your control, the day-to-day -day choices that you make, what you do with your time, the attitude at which you approach new endeavors or existing endeavors, how you react when things don't go exactly your way, and people that you call friends, things that are not within your control, the weather, other people's attitudes, how other people are going to react when something does not go their way, if there's going to be anything worthwhile watching on TV. That's one of the main things you have to consider is where are you going to put your energy into the things that you can control or the things that you cannot control? If you put all your energy into the things that you cannot control, then you are going to be very disappointed with the outcome. But if you step back and put your energy towards the things that you can control, then you're going to have a much more controlled experience. Note, I did not say a positive experience because what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. I happen to have a bit of a headache, so I'm going to put in to it some ibuprofen and I'm going to get out of it a little bit less of a headache. Last night I went to bed totally early, which was awesome, but my brain was so wrapped up in the things that I cannot control that I ended up staying up until one or two o'clock in the morning like I normally do. I'm grouchy. But my focus now is letting that stuff go. <laughs> whatever. I can totally get people to do what I want them to do. No! Don't be a douche! You can manipulate people to a certain extent to get them to do what you want them to do, but What's the point? Let people make their own choices, and if they don't match up with yours, then maybe you two should not be in each other's lives. You shouldn't resort to manipulation to get what you want. You should work with other people to accomplish the same goals together. And if you can't do that, go do things on your own and enjoy yourself and enjoy your own company. Because that is the only way you're going to get to do all the things that you want to do that don't specifically involve other people. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not doing the things that I want to do because I totally am. Everything I do is my decision, my choice, and I'm having a good time doing the things that I want to do. What I am saying is that you get to choose where you focus your energy. So, a little bit about yesterday's episode. It was a video that we did for a short film festival called PMF, or Primate Memory Factory. My friend and I were in charge of doing the intro films, and the intro films had to fall in line with the theme of that month, and that theme's month was connect the dots. The audience watched the intro film, and we did a short introductory after that, and the audience watched all the films and decided which one they thought was the best. We handed out prizes, but the biggest prize of all was we got to show our films on the big screen in an actual movie theater. And it's a project I've been kind of wanting to do again for quite some time, but I'm kind of wondering, now that we have YouTube, could we do a monthly-themed, community-based film festival on YouTube. Let me know if you guys are interested and what your thoughts and ideas are on that. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and thanks for being awesome.